Yo, what's good? It's your boy Driving Addict back at it with another Grub Pub versus DoorDash versus Uber Eats video. Right now it's 8 19 p.m. on a Saturday night. It's uh, my first order of the, the night or t uh, today. So tonight uh, we're gonna go on this uh, uh, multi app uh, uh, video mission. Um, Grubhub versus uh, DoorDash uh, versus uh, Uber Eats. And my first order of the night is. <clears throat> my first order of the night is with Grubhub for like $22. But uh, I think the driving distance is uh, a little bit farther. Uh, and uh, I don't have my uh, second phone holder with me. So it's a little bit of a challenge. I. Uh, I apologize for the poor quality of this video. <laughs> we are in downtown Miami Spur picking up this uh, Bennett's order. All right, follow me on my journey, fam. All right, fam, uh, second order of the night is uh, DoorDash. Actually, it's a double stack. DoorDash at the same place. So this is like a two for one, but uh, it's... Sorry that... <laughs> My Bluetooth is uh, distracting me. So it's a double stack at the uh, BJ's uh, Brew House. Uh, two orders uh, at the same restaurant, but two, two, two different customers. That's my guess. All right, fam, let's go get this money. Well, there. Hello. We got a double stack uh, DoorDash orders, both at the same restaurant. So uh, that's like a two for one, you know. Same restaurant, but two different uh, customers. All right, let's go get this DoorDash money, fam. All right, fam. So the last dash was uh, one of the best, you know. One customer tip six, one tips uh, five. Uh, double stack order at the same restaurant, and the two customer literally live three houses apart on the same block. So one of the best uh, dash uh, so far uh, of this month. And uh, let me show you my earnings so far after three uh, three All orders. Right, so first order was twenty fifty five with uh, Grubhub. Uh, no Uber Eats yet. Uh, this one six dollar with DoorDash or eight dollars total, six dollar tip. And then the house right next to it, uh, uh, total seven seventy five five dollar tip. So so far so good tonight. Follow me on my journey, fam. All right. So uh, just wanna talk a little bit about Friday nights uh food order food delivery uh run. Friday night I only did like three hours and I uh, was really tired because uh, my other vehicle does not have uh, HID or LED uh, headlights so it hurts my eyes to drive uh, that vehicle late at night and uh, tonight I drive my Hyundai Elantra so hopefully uh, I can uh, go longer tonight follow me on my journey fam all right, fam, since, uh, since I'm at the red light, I uh, just want to make a quick uh, 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 summary. Uh, so three minutes ago, uh, there was an Uber Eats order that pops up, but it's like, what, 20 miles for $6? <laughs> That's a no-go. Uh, it was a really bad uh, order from Uber Eats, uh, put, it, put it that way, and uh, I didn't accept it. And after that, Grubhub order pops up. Um, I think six dollars uh i mean not the best but uh, not too shabby not too shabby either with these for grubhub so so far tonight uh two grubhubs and uh two doordash all right fam follow me on my journey all right fam we are at wendy's so i just want to point out something that uh i did like a few days ago i was uh picking up in uh, middletown or franklin and um some of these fast food uh, restaurant uh, lobbies are, are closed. I don't know because they're short of uh, workers or because of the Delta variant or whatever. But uh, as a food delivery driver, it's gonna be a pain in the neck, you know, uh, when the lobby is closed uh, the whole day, you know. So that's something to take into consideration. That, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, like four days ago, uh, McDonald's lobby was closed. Uh, Taco Bell, but those was just in uh, Middletown, you know. Um, the Taco Bell in Centerville, the lobby was open during the day, so something to take into uh, consideration uh, for you um, 
day 10 metro uh food delivery drivers out there all right follow me on my journey fam. uh grub hub for uh jamar do you want the order number go ahead and pull it out i got it. i got it all right thank you sir And uh, just want to point out something about Ohio. A lot of people have custom plates, you know. So, pretty sure other states have custom plates too. But some of these uh, custom plates in uh, Ohio are really funny. Since you know? we're at uh, these drive through I'm just going to tell you some uh, funny uh, li license plates uh, stories. So, there was one down in Cincinnati. It literally, literally says felony. <laughs> You do not want to cut off that guy, the guy with the felony license plate. All right, fam, so after like 15 minutes, one, five, 15 minutes of uh, no action, uh, we finally have a uh, KFC order for 525 with DoorDash. And just an FYI, uh, Grubhub ends at 10 p.m. Turn in right my area. Drive, then turn left. So all I have right now is Blue Beats and DoorDash. And Blue Beats not that busy around here, so I guess pretty much all all uh, right. tonight uh, at this time, uh, unless uh, you know there's a miracle, there's a really good Blue Beats order, but uh, I doubt it. So let's go. Uh, on the left. Let's go pick up this DoorDash uh, order at KFC. Follow me on my journey. I have a door dash uh, order number 1987. What's the name? Uh, Mark, Mark X G. You're gonna have to cancel that. Sorry? You're gonna have to cancel that. Uh, I need to cancel it? Yeah, you have uh, to call them to cancel it. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. All right, fam, so we encounter an issue here. So uh, KFC uh, tells me that uh, I need to cancel it or whatever. So let's figure this thing out. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. All right, fam, so there's some uh, problems with the KFC uh, order, uh, DoorDash order, and I had to cancel the last one. Or KFC uh, asked me to cancel it. And, uh, Honestly, the DoorDash uh, app is pretty hard for me to cancel uh, the order. Uh, it takes, uh, I don't know if I did it uh, the right way. Uh, so it's gonna put my completion rate uh, to like 80% uh, now or something like that. So we're back at the same KFC and let's see how uh, this time goes, huh? Have a DoorDash for Devonti. You want to cancel that? We don't have the chicken for that. It's gonna hurt my completion rate, man. It's like two times back to back already. Yeah, we don't have a chicken for it. I'm sorry. Can, can you guys call call Door DoorDash uh, at this time and tell them to stop yeah. uh, taking DoorDash orders at this location? I can't call DoorDash. We, we selling chicken to people coming up. We, we can't just sit down and call them. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah. All right, fam. So uh, I have to call DoorDash uh, support, I guess. You know, it's getting very frustrating. All right, fam. So under the app, I just say I uh, can't do this order, and then uh, I just mark it as something else. If I mark the restaurant as closed, it's kind of like lying or something. So whatever, we're not gonna go uh, accept any more KFC orders at uh, this location. You know, it's getting ridiculous. Back to back cancel orders. You know, very frustrating. All right, fam. So after a couple of uh, issues with the uh, KFC, we are back on track. This is a DoorDash order at Frickers. Frickers is a very popular chain uh, bar restaurant in the Dayton metro area. So I'm guessing tonight it's gonna be, be uh, mostly DoorDash because uh, Grubhub ends at 10 p.m. and Uber Eats orders are really small or 
very uh, low tip orders right in this uh, area. West, so Miami's Burke Centerville Road. I guess the rest of the night's just gonna be DoorDash. And um, by the way, it's a three hour uh, per extra per delivery bonus with uh, DoorDash right now. From 9 to 12, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. right now. On a Saturday, right now it's 10.36 uh, p.m. Follow me on my journey. See what I'm talking about when I say my uh, Hyundai Elantra uh, headlights are better than my Honda Odyssey. Yeah, it's a lot better, right? Yeah, bright headlights are uh, plus uh, late night, you know? It, it doesn't, uh, it helps uh, your eyes a lot compared to yellowish uh, old headlights. All right, fam, so there was a change of plan. There was a, a double stack order added to queue uh, when I was uh, closing in on the Frickers uh, uh, customer. So it was like one block away. So I had to stop by TJ Chums in uh, Miami Spur and uh, pick up uh, a second order at TJ Chum, Chums. And then uh, now we're on, on route to drop off the first of the two orders. All right, follow me on my journey, fam. All right. Turn right onto Overland Trail. So from here to the, the second customer's house is 14 minutes and uh, six miles. So uh, follow me on my journey. This is a very scenic uh, drive during the day, fam, across the Miami uh, Miami River. Uh, Miami River River in, the, in Ohio, not in uh, Miami, Florida. Very steep uh, downhill <laughs> across uh, the bridge to uh, across the Miami River. All right, enjoy the drive, fam. Very beautiful uh, downhill drive. TJ jump chumps that I picked up the second order for and this is the, the order we're dropping up for TJ chumps awesome place all right fam we are at McDonald's at 11 20 p.m. in uh, West Carrollton this McDonald's order is eight dollars total probably five dollar tip that's my guess because it's the three dollar bonus right now all right let's go get this mcdonald's order all right fam so these are the kind of orders you get with doordash nowadays you know the last one's just four ranch uh, sauce from mcdonald's but hey at least the cust uh that customer tips you know and uh, plus a three dollar bonus i think it's a two dollar tip uh from mcdonald's to the customer's house was like half a block you know so but the, the way i mean mcdonald's was like 15 20 minutes and then uh I also drive Uber, but not tonight, you know. Uh, my, uh, this car doesn't have the dash cam, so tonight Uber is searching, but uh, <clears throat> the other day I was in my uh, Honda Odyssey van and I logged on 15 minutes in the middle of a search and nobody requests anything, so. Uh, so um, I'll probably do more like uh, food deliveries at uh, late night now instead of driving Uber passenger, you know. Um, yeah, it's like six fifty dollar extra and stuff, but uh, you know, we're not driving Uber passenger tonight. Uh, I don't have my dash cam, and uh, you know, uh, just uh, don't feel right driving late night uh, in these uh, crazy times lately. You know, so I'm just gonna do a uh, food delivery, and then uh, and then uh, there was <clears throat> earlier there was a, a small um, Papa John's order that pops up. Uh, think this one 9.4 miles for only 850 uh, yep that's a no-go I declined that one and uh, and uh, actually uh, for the last uh, one hour I forgot to log on with Uber Eats and still no hits with the uh, Uber Eats so I guess Uber Eats is very slow uh, well something pops up uh, McDonald's for, for 525 
uh, three miles total. So I'm guessing with the three dollar bonus, it's just a two dollar tip. It's not the best, but it's not uh, not the worst. So might as well take this McDonald's uh, fam. You know, I know it's not one of not very high. And I am just one block from this McDonald's. All right, let's go get this McDonald's order. Follow me on my uh, late night dash, fam. Thank Here we you. are, fam. Back at the same uh, McDonald's in uh, West Carrollton. This time, there's no cars in front of me. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's see what we can get now. Welcome McDonald's. What can I get for you tonight? All right, DoorDash uh, 3549. 3549? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead and pull forward to the second window. Thanks, Thank you, sir. All right, fam. So it's currently 12, 10 uh, a.m. Sunday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning. And I've been online for uh, three and a half hours and I average like 22 per hour. Four seventy-two for Uber Eats. Finally pops up. All right, all right, fam. So uh, another issue with our DoorDash order. You know, uh, McDonald's closed. It's uh, 12:52 a.m. and uh, DoorDash don't know that McDonald's is closed at this time on a Saturday, but whatever you know maybe they have an emergency or who knows what so i have to go and cancel this order again and it's uh, very frustrating tonight you know all right fam so this is the third time that uh, a fast food order does stop taking doordash orders even though on the app they give it to the drivers you know so anyways gotta call the customer service and uh, i don't know if they're gonna pay me for this uh waste of time or not but uh anyway here's a uh, Walgreens and a Taco Bell, a double stack order. So Walgreens is a shopping order and a Taco Bell is just a pickup order. All right, let's go get this uh, DoorDash money then. All right, fam, so it is uh, 2.30 a.m. or something. I came home and there was like three raccoons in the parking lot, so I got distracted for a minute. And uh, I am finally home with my girl, Holly. Anyways, uh, I can't talk too loud, but uh, Tonight's uh, food delivery run was really frustrating, uh, like after 12, you know. Um, I had two KFC orders with DoorDash that uh, the KFC said they didn't, they didn't um, receive it. And uh, also one from Taco Bell and one from McDonald's or something. The McDonald's is open 24 hours, so there was like a total of four orders uh, being um, canceled or not, not received or whatever, so... But I think I averaged like, I don't know, 19 or 20 bucks per hour or something. But uh, yeah, tonight's uh, food delivery run was uh, very frustrating. So I guess I'm just going to focus on driving during the day now, you know. No more late night food delivery or even Uber, Uber passenger. Anyway, uh, that's where it is to uh, do food delivery late night in uh, Dayton, Ohio, fam. So... Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, fam. Peace. Say bye to them, Holly. Holly, say bye. Have a nice day, fam. Thanks for watching.